Hey guys, welcome to Collection TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at Bob Pulley from the new 2016 Disney Pixar Cars Cruise in Tokyo series. He's number 6 out of 9 in this series. I got this guy at Target, and on the back, here we have the Ugly Cars Their Double Garage advertisement and instructions. Now, I never know what to say about this because it's not really an advertisement, and yet it's not really actual instructions. Like, it, it doesn't even tell you anything about how to download it from the App Store. It doesn't really mention that in big letters or anything, so I never know what to say because it's not even really instructions. Up here we have a picture of Ty Decatura and a description which you can pause and read. Let's take this Tokyo Taxi out of his package. And I just noticed this actually, but this car did not have any tape on the package, which is definitely a cool sign. Okay, wow, this die cast is really cool actually. He's very, very detailed. One of the more detailed models that Mattel has made. With all these logos all over the sides. And he has this cool taxi logo up top. But it does beg the question, what does a taxi in the cars world actually do? In my opinion, a taxi, um, it could do one of two things. One, it could be kind of like a tour guide, which is something that my good friend RC Cars 5 mentioned, that I think could be quite possible. And another idea I had is that maybe they have like a tow hitch or something that would like stick in the back of them, and they would pull cars around. Kind of like a real taxi, but no hitches involved in real life. And also, here are some other cars that are the same model as him. We have Trent Proto, Ito-san, uh, we have um, Jeffy Hollander and himself. Here's this awesome taxi on the turntable. He's got checkerboard designs, advertisements in Japanese, numbers, logos, you name it. And if it would be on a taxi in real life, then he does... Um, have it. And also, I do believe he is a 1998 Toyota Century, which is a real car, and he looks very, very nice. And the only car left in the Tokyo Cruise in, or Cruise in Tokyo series left is um, Vic Vanley, which is really cool to complete my collection. I'll probably start doing full collection videos towards the end of the summer, by the way. There is that logo on the back of him that was on Jesse Hollander that should have been absent on Jesse, but is present on both of them. But yeah, it is identical. Um, I thought there might be a tiny bit difference for some reason, because maybe since Jesse came out sooner, maybe I thought it would have been like the prototype piece that would be on Bob. Now, what is up with these weird names? It's just crazy because, I mean, Bob Pulley does not sound Japanese to me. So yeah, this is a terrible name in my opinion, but he's still a very nice car. Tell me in the comment section below which taxi you like better, Vern or Bob Pulley. I think I'm going to go with Vern here because aside from Donna Pitts and Axel Accelerator, which are quite a bit different than him, he is very unique looking and model where Bob is obviously the same model as Jesse and all the others. So I definitely think I like Vern better because also I can relate to it more because since I live in the U.S., then I know more about um, United States taxis than I would uh, Japanese taxis. I mean, I'm sure this is exactly what they look like, but I really wouldn't know for sure because I've never been to Tokyo. So yeah, tell me which one of these you like better in the comment section below. I'm Henry Motorcoop, and as always, we'll see you next time.